There's not actually much of an introduction needed here, is there? Regular as clockwork, Apple now launches a new phone every summer, and this one is no different. Behold, the iPhone 4. After the very minor aesthetic updates of the last couple of generations, the iPhone 4 is an almost radical change for Apple. The upgraded materials definitely give it a more luxurious look and weight, but these straight edges, which now incorporate the antenna, actually make it less comfortable in the hand. There have been lots of technological updates too. Most obviously, the resolution of the screen has been doubled to 960 by 640, and the camera on the rear has followed suit with an upgrade to 5 megapixels and the addition of a surprisingly effective LED flash. There's now a camera on the front too, which can be used for video calling, which Apple has excruciatingly named FaceTime. Add 802.11n Wi-Fi and a faster processor, and the 4 turns out to be a rather significant update. In fact, the only thing that doesn't seem to have changed is the headphones, which are as pathetic as ever. Apple's fanboy-friendly launches focus heavily on new features, with little or no mention of audio quality. The company's clearly done a lot of work on this, though, as the 4 sounds significantly more detailed and punchy than its predecessor, as long as you've changed those nasty headphones, of course. In more predictable news, movies look much better on that high-res screen, with a kind of sharpness and contrast that actually makes portable video viewing a real thrill. Camera specialists will have to give the definitive verdict on the iPhone's photo ability, but for our money, the pictures and 720p videos it takes are superbly vibrant and well-defined, and the tap-to-focus feature works really well. Now, those signal issues we've all been hearing so much about. Yes, if you hold the phone with your left hand and cover the antenna, you can lose bars. No, Apple shouldn't have released the iPhone with the problem, and it definitely shouldn't have shrugged off the problem by telling users to hold it differently. But is it a catastrophic flaw? For us, it's not, and you can always buy an aftermarket case to solve the problem anyway. So, the Apple iPhone 4. It is, quite simply, the best media mobile available, with terrific sound, awesome video, and a whole raft of brilliant features. It's so good, even left-handed people should buy one.